Hi, I'm Rich, WB5YBZ, and I have a, uh, I, I know where a flagpole antenna is. It must be at least 80 feet high, and I'm thinking, I might hook my uh, coax to it somehow, but I have a feeling since it's that big, it's going to be grounded, and all my signal's going to go to ground. What if it makes a great antenna? Well, here's some of the things that I'm going to bring with me. I'm going to bring a antenna analyzer simply because I want to make sure my SWR is good. I have an old Dentron uh, antenna tuner with my ICOM 7300. I would suggest that you get a permission from the property owner before you hook up an antenna. But sometimes there's I would say car lots gone out of business that has maybe a 75 foot, 80 foot flagpole. Don't deface, don't deface the flagpole. Don't drill any holes for bolts or anything. What I'm going to use is a battery cable and just that goes to my magnetic mount. So let's go, let's go look at the flagpole. Let's see what kind of results we get. Thanks so much for watching. B500 QRZ. W9IMS WB5YBZ. Okay, Whiskey Bravo 5, Yankee Bravo Zulu. Whiskey Bravo 5, Yankee Bravo Zulu. Please confirm I've got that correct. You're 5 and 9, over. Uh, thank you very much. I'm, uh, uh, by the way, this is Rich, WB5YBZ, not poor, but Rich, and we decided to try to put my antenna on a 80-foot flagpole in a parking lot, and this is what I'm talking to you on with a ICOM 7300, but it uh, seems like uh, you're coming in about 5.8, 5 5.9 as well, over. Okay, very good, Rich. Well, the flagpole uh, antenna system there is doing great with your 7300. What state are you in, over? Oklahoma City, Oklahoma there, over. Okay, very good, Rich. Yep, we got you in the log, and uh, that 7300 is uh, popular radio. A lot of the guys we've been working lately, uh, that's uh, what they're running. A lot, of, not, a lot of new ones on the air, so you got a great radio there. And check us out on QRZ.com for our QSL information, and 73 is going to have a great weekend, over. Thank you. You have a good weekend, and thanks for the contact. W9IMS, WB5YBZ, it'll be clear. Okay. That is. And the, by the way, I, I think I said I'm in Oklahoma City, uh, Roger, and my name is Rich, Radio India Charlie Hotel. And uh, you're uh, you're coming in at about a 5.5, five, 5.7 five, five, at peaks, but the band's up and down, but you're sounding good. Uh, KG7NTT, WB5YBZ. Okay, Rich, yeah. That's a great idea using that flagpole. It's, uh, it's working well for you. Again, you know, we got a lot of fading in and out. But that being said, you got a clear, a clear signal over here. And uh... what I'd end up doing is putting a little vertical here and clamping on my uh, my battery cable. Then I came over here and I try to clamp it on here the base of this tower. Well, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the little video. The antenna or the tower must be at least 80 feet tall. I'm going to show you the video of it right now. But as I'm talking, let me just say that I've enjoyed this just to experiment because when the band conditions is good, this might be a really, really good antenna to try. Another thing is that if I'm going to show you a picture when I got home of DX maps. Usually it has lines all over the place when you're having communications uh, and on 20 meters and it just has three or four lines on there. So I'm thinking, aha, uh -huh, the band really is dead. So anyway, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope this uh, might give you an incentive to try a flagpole sometime in a parking lot, but be sure you actually get permission from the owner.